everyone! So in anticipation and celebration of um, our Owl Crate Junior October themed robots, I have some robot themed book recommendations for you all. So the first recommendation that I have is a much loved um, series, The Wild Robot, and the second book, The Wild Robot Escapes. Um, we love this book these books uh, here at Owl Crate and I think we've recommended it to you all like in a million posts and videos probably. Um, but yeah, if you haven't read these books yet, please please do because they're so cute. They're so, it's so heartwarming. The illustrations in these in these books are awesome. Um, and yeah, I highly recommend it. It's about um, it's about Ross, this robot who ends up on an island, stranded and alone, and um, she comes to life, and she has to like figure out what it means, what it what it means to be a robot and to be alive on this island. Um, it's really heartwarming. It's a beautiful tale of friendship, um, of motherhood. Um, yeah, yeah. Pick it up if you haven't. My next book um, is Tin. Um, I saw this book at the library and I was like immediately intrigued. The cover is like really gripping and I was like, okay, I need to like read this. And it was really, really good. So it's about a, a, a robot boy named Christopher who is a robot but he thinks he's a real boy and he works for this mechanic who makes these like loyal robots um, who are also like all his best friends um, but then one day Christopher realizes that he's not a real boy and he gets taken away by the authority um, and these robot best friends have to go and save him and it was such a fun read it was a really unique story um, it kind of had the vibes of the wild robot in terms of like um, like what it means to be human, what it means to have a soul. Um, yeah, it was it was a really good book. Um, and I would recommend this for like higher middle grade readers just because the language is a little bit more advanced. Um, but yeah, definitely would recommend this book. So my third book is an illustrated middle grade uh, novel called Weird Little Robots. Um, and this book is so cute. Um, the main character, Penny Rose, I really related to her. So she is, at the start of the book, she's new in town, um, and she doesn't have any friends, and she, it's, it's tough for her to make friends. Um, but her hobby is making little robots, and she loves doing it. And then she befriends another girl who kind of helps her create this, like, robot town. And then one day, they start to discover that these robots are coming alive. Um, and that's kind of like what the what the book is about. And there's also a super secret science society in this new middle school that she's at, um, which I really love because I've always wanted to be part of a super secret science society. Um, so yeah, this book is awesome. The illustrations are great. Um, uh, and yeah, I would really recommend this book. My next book is a picture book called The Iron Giant. Um, so this was, this was a book that the movie that was released in the 90s, um, this is what it was inspired by. Um, but from, I've never personally watched the movie and it's my homework for the weekend. Um, but apparently the book and the movie are very, quite different. Um, so keep that in mind if you check out this book. Um, but for those of you who haven't watched the movie or read the book, um, the Iron Giant is this huge mechanical um, robot man and he's terrorizing the people around him um, and he likes to eat metal so he like goes to the farmers fields and like starts eating like tractors and plows um, and the main character Hogarth he um, he this this boy he's like the only one who is like brave enough to deal with the, the the iron giant to deal with to talk to him and like be friends with him and he has to like somehow help the iron giant find his way back home um, so yeah, very different from the movie apparently, um, but the illustrations are gorgeous. Um, it's it's worth it just for the illustrations. Um, yeah, so check it out. My next book is Robot Dreams. It is a wordless graphic novel, and I read this yesterday at the library, and I almost started sobbing. Um, this 
this graphic novel was awesome. It like I was so blown away by how um, how moving and how much story and plot there was without any text um, in it. Um, but it is about a robot and a dog and their friends, and they go to the beach one day. And the robot becomes like really rusty and immobilized and so he can't move. And so the dog kind of abandons his friend and starts looking off, looking, um, looking for new friends to hang out with. Meanwhile, the robot's sitting on the beach daydreaming about what life could be. And it's really touching. It's really, it's a little sad. <laughs> um, and it's this beautiful story about friendship. My final robot book recommendation is Rabbit and Robot by C.C. Bell. C.C. Bell also wrote this awesome middle grade graphic novel called El Defo, which I really love. Um, but Rabbit and Robot, I think there's two books um, right now. There's Rabbit and Robot, um, The Sleepover, and Rabbit and Robot and Ribbit. Um, and these are really, really cute, like, early chapter books. They're, they're perfect for, like, six to eight-year-olds. And it's about Rabbit and Robot and their friendship, and it's super cute. Those are all my book recommendations. I hope you like them. If you have any other um, robot book uh, suggestions, let me know in the comments below. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Uh, yeah, so happy reading and thanks for being awesome.